welcome back to Who's Got My Money? Where is my money? I'll go back to Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Playing more of a ghost than a vampire this time around, but yeah, uh... Yeah, Society Leopold, we're draining them dry. Yeah, we've uh, woken in a strange new time period. We're in London, it's 1999. Yes, we're listening to some Jamiroquai. Yes, and Ricky Martin and Jennifer Lopez. And listen to the virtual insanity. I got candy in my heels. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a bat. These boys don't play. Ooh, no, they don't. All right. Burn like Tinder, huh? Trying to stake me. How cute. Larg, you are dead. Give me all your money. Dummies, Tinder doesn't exist in 99. <laughs> Give me all your money so I can a healing ointment. <laughs> a healing ointment. I'm not even going to bother. It's a strange word, ointment. So, yeah, we're wandering around, uh, killing the, the Society of Leopold members. Yep, because they try to kill us, so we have to kill them right back. Yeah, they did. They're all like, hey, look at this vampire in this crate. It's like thousand, a thousand year old. We should, we should bring him back to uh, study him and maybe eat his, his, his delicious, delicious blood. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. And now we're wreaking havoc all over the society. Yeah, we are. Stealing all their cash. Ooh, a computer. Stealing all their Vitae. The fall of Visserad Castle. Further we missed number two. Original by Father Leo Alatius. Visserad Castle was once the heart of a pitched battle between humans and kindred scum. Oh, we've I've got a story, folks. Time Strap in. History ...that humans have successfully overthrown the bloodsuckers. We present they that. They were burned, pulled from their havens, and left to bake in the sun. I Ooh, think there's some help from the, the vampires, the too. shook the walls of the city, spewing flame and death. Those brave humans are our spiritual forefathers because they started the Inquisition. The and Inquisition? Countless Nobody vampires. expects the Spanish Inquisition. Course, there was a lot of and this one just a plain Inquisition. Avoidable. Though we call ourselves the Society of Leopold, I prefer the name Inquisition. Because I like to ask questions. Here. What followed because was I'm pompous. Hiding, which the vampires call the masquerade. They went underground and tried to build a coalition. Fortunately, they split on policy. Oh, split. Two I it sects spit. arose, the Camarilla and the Sabbat. The Sabbat sought to regain their domination over the kine and spurned the masquerade adopted by the Camarilla. I trace this fracture in the vampire world to this event. Therefore, I must uncover the legendary Viserard castle. Who knows what wonders it holds? Secrets. And mostly me and none and uh, Labusa the Defiled. Hmm. Ooh, library. We can read all the books. Lure of flames. I can't wait to get a hold of them too. Lure of flames. Uh, don't really need it, but I guess I'll need it more than shotgun shells. We have shotgun shells, but we don't have. Ha ha ha! Fall of Viserard Castle. Oh, this is part two. Additions to huh. the original by Brother Maynard of the Arcanum. In the 12th century, Ukudlok's cultists nearly succeeded in raising him from torpor. I guess it would have been but the 12th the century. the Prometheans, led by Ekaterina the Wise, crushed his plan okay. and raised Viserard Castle to rubble. Ekaterina conspired with the mortals of Prague, who had suffered the depredations of Ukudlok's followers. The mortals aided the Prometheans in the short term, but in the long run, the kindred suffered. 
Ekaterina's act built up mortal opposition to vampires, which would soon culminate in the Inquisition. Hey, you see, I told you those humans mm. didn't do it all by themselves. Wouldn't have stood a chance. Ah. Ah, wrong way, Kristoff. Well, this place is like a giant maze. Come here, you. Give me your VK. Oh, Give me your VK. And yours. I don't see a lot of burning like tinder, unfortunately. Yeah, I see a lot of like corpses <laughs> fucking falling down like a sack of old shit is what I see. Your prayer does not work on me. Yeah, you might have holy water, but I've got an exquisite greatsword. And cash! Hopefully, I'll be able to afford a really nice exquisite bastard or uh, exquisite sword, exquisite a broad super sword. exquisite sword. Do you have anything? Nope. Nope. Now where's my tank? Eh, we're getting XP anyway. You said oh. XP was important. Yep. That way we can level. I suppose we'll just take you out with the old-fashioned way. Take me out! Yeah, ow! <laughs> Turn you into tender vittles. Ooh, Ooh, a golden watch. watch. Bet that's more valuable than a pistol clip. Now we got two gold watches. And we just clip right through the computer. Yeah, can't even use that computer. It's probably a compact. <laughs> yup! It is 1999 after all. A compact or a gateway or a uh, HP. Ah! Hello, sir. Would you like to die today? I'm trying to remember what music was big in '99, but yeah, it's. Uh... I would say I'm just going by the ones I remember. I was gonna say I remember like a lot of stuff in the '90s, but I'm I'm thinking early '90s. Cause I'm like thinking like Ace of Base and I was like, ah, that was the early 90s. Or not the early 90s, but like the mid 90s. Mm hmm. Like I said, Rick Nick. Martin and Jennifer Lopez and. Uh, Kiss from a Rose. No, that was like 96, I wanna say. Kiss, Kiss from, from a Rose, Rose was uh, 97, cause it's from the Batman movie. The one of the Batman sequels. Alright, well, I guess we'll get rid of one of these plasma bags. <laughs> From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, Society of Leopold, September 1999. Boy, I remember that Today, time. Today, <laughs> we begin our excavation of Visserad Castle in earnest. We had better find a lot of valuable artifacts and lore. This is costing me a fortune. <laughs> Some large carved stones are proving very difficult to break through. Well, uh... I'm surprised this, you know, if this was in, in 2009, we'd probably be reading all this on his MySpace. Yep, on his black. He'd be like, ooh, how could this happen to me? Oh, wait, I know it was, I know it was a thing in 1999. Hmm. That god-awful Madonna, um, cover of American Pie. Yep. Actually, that god awful Madonna uh, comeback. Oh my. Alright, wow, they're actually hurting me. Way to go, Society of Leopold goons. You, you actually started to hurt me. I'm, I'm kind of impressed, I'm not gonna lie. The problem is, is they're, they have large numbers all at once. Yeah. A rifle. I bet I could do some damage with that. But I'd rather just do this. Ooh, soldiers. Oh yeah, we've been coming across them. Yeah, but it's the first time I've ever seen, you know, the name of them. Oh no, they've been coming up as soldiers. Is that like first, I guess first I've noticed. Yeah. 
Shotgun. Oh, I got a shotgun. But I don't want a shotgun. I say, you, you gave up the shells to your shotgun about three... Yeah, I was gonna say, the shotgun seems like it would be fun, but eh, is it really that fun? We got a close range weapon, why not a sword? Oh, as I say, oh yeah, it's that god awful time that Madonna came back from the dead. Well, career death. Ow! What else came out in 99? Like I said, Ricky Martin was huge, and uh. I think the song Smooth came out in either 99 or 2000. I don't I remember that was everywhere. Oh, Santana? Yeah. Ugh. Let's see how far we've come. Who's there we go, Matchbox 20. Oh, wait, Corn. Corn was huge in 99. It's 1999! Then Limp Bizkit. Oh, God, Limp Bizkit was huge in 1990. Yuck. Yeah, I guess we'll take the gold ring. Add it to our ever-growing jewelry collection. Yeah. Maybe we can hit a pawn shop after this. it would be like, I've got to get it for the right price. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight on Pawn Stars, <laughs> this ancient vampire comes in with a whole bunch of ancient relics. Look, let me get my buddy on the phone and we can assess these for you. <laughs> Ooh! Making our way. Sidey Leopold, room one. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that looks like a keypad. And it does. Okay, we got our. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Ooh, a gold bracelet. Yeah, I think I have a diamond bracelet. I'm, I'm good. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> They'll burn like tinder. They'll burn like tinder. They'll flow like taffy cake. They're going down, they're yelling timber. <laughs> uh, magnum bullets. Gold necklace. Just dump that want, right on the ground. We don't want bullets, we want jewelry. Yeah, we do. We want shiny stuff that we can sell at a profit. Ah! Ah, no! Come on, let me in! Nope. Alright, fine. Locked, 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 locked. <laughs> but that ain't even a real door. Trying to impress us with doors that aren't even real. <sighs> you know, is there a door down there? No. You sure? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was just an alcove. Okay, well, yeah, I could that's why I told you to keep going. I shoulda, I shoulda just had faith. DM push. Let's. I should have just had. I, I'm just really scared of going up the stairs. I can't wait to get a hold of some damn kids. They'll burn like tin. Oh, your your eagerness has cost you your life. How's that? Shotgun shells? I don't need none of those. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. <laughs> I think Clerks 2 came out in the No, Clerks 2 didn't come out then. Clerks 2 came out way later. Did the original Clerks come out in 99? Uh, I don't think so. Hmm. I want to say that came a little earlier. Um, yeah, because Mallrats came out in, I want to say, 96, 97. Mallrats was 97, I know that. Yeah, and Clerks was... Ow, ow. The abyss with the... Clerks was... Clerks was before Mallrats. Ah, so there's a bigger gap than I thought. Uh, Dogma might have came out in 99. Yeah, Dogma sounds about right. That and that awful Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, End of Days. Mm-hmm. Oh, Fight Club came out in 99. Oh. Or at least around 99. Oh, you seem to regain your coke composure? <laughs> I'm gonna send you to hell. Oh, no, not the sword. <laughs> I'm gonna send you to hell. Nope, you're going to hell. Okay, what do we got here? We got some. We got cash. Cash. I swear, the Society of Leopold, they just leave just cash lying around. Well, they're, they're very rich, you see. 
Well, actually, no. They, I think the guy was bitching that he blew all his money trying to move. Yes. Break big rocks over in, uh, yeah, in the fucking doc Prague. Doctor's like, this is costing me a fortune. <laughs> Even though he just has piles of cash laying around. I know it's petty cash, but you know. <laughs> if you learned anything from adventures, or, uh, don't tell mom the babysitter's dead. There's always cash in petty cash. Yeah. Alright, let's see. That. What's in the suitcase? Prison, Prison of ice. ice. That I think that book was clickable. We got a journal entry. From the journal of Father Leo Alacius, Society of Leopold. October 1999. Damn! Damn! The Zamitsi drove my excavation! Killed half my men! We barely got away with the artifacts we uncovered. I cannot believe the Lord allowed this travesty! Lord, give it, Lord, take us Liar away. Insists that the large carved stones over the ruins were protective blessings placed after the fall of Viserard Castle by persons unknown. He maintains that the Zemitsi could freely pillage the ruins once we broke through the wall. Oh, you big dummies! I dislike mm -hmm. his holier-than-thou attitude. Uh, look at yourself, pal. Much, though he was useful in finding the site of the ruin. Well. <sighs> you know what? Why do we keep all these goddamn journal pages? We don't need these. We just leave them right there. We know the story. We're not gonna read them again. Yeah, the book in the uh, um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, no, you can't get it. I thought you could. Um, maybe nope. it was the case next to it. Anyway, moving on. I'll take one of these. Though. I mean, that's probably worth. That's probably worth a dollar or two, anyway. Dance, dance, dance. All right, Kristoff. Let's fucking around. Let's get around to it. <laughs> oh, he saw me, okay. I was gonna say, wow, he's really blind. Who's that? You are really paranoid, one of It's me. It's me, your boy Kristoff. <laughs> it's me, your boy Jack Malloy or <laughs> Mike Malloy. Top of the modern tape fuckers. <laughs> Oh, one more. Oh. oh. I'm sending you straight there, too, for staking me in the back. Maybe I should have given him the personal touch, but oh well. Brass knuckles. Ooh, there's blue right there. This is opened elsewhere. Urgh. Oh, wait, what's this? Ah ha ha ha! Always click on the goofy looking book. A baton. A baton. Hmm. All right, this baton, I believe, is something special. Because it's in blue font. Yeah. So, what can we afford to get rid of? <sighs> Cloak of Shadows, that's pretty much useless. Eh... Uh. The problem right, diamonds are valuable. Drawing out the beast, that's kind of hot garbage. Prison of Ice is a pretty good spell. That's that's probably worth something. You can drink the plasma bag and then make room. Wait, we... Oh, we do have a... Yeah, we'll just drink that. Delicious, delicious plasma. Okay, the baton. Oh, but there's on. more loot over there. Oh. Baton's on the floor. Okay, well, let's take the baton. Looks like rubies. Oh, rubies are worth a lot. All right, that's worth more than a gold necklace. Silver necklace, don't want it. Rubies necklace, we don't want it. Rubies, yes, we do want them. Mm, gold ring. Freaking society of Leopold, more like the society of pimps. Diamond bracelet, yeah, that's worth something. I ain't got a lot of room though. I I actually don't have any room for that. Yep, gotta leave it behind. We're just gonna have to not have it. That's 
the problem when you don't have a pack rat. I know, this sucks. Oh, or no. Or a pack no. mule. Oh. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius. I love these. God has blessed me with my greatest prize. An ancient vampire still sleeping in deep talk. Hey, that's me! He's blaspheming heretic I sent that comment. who the red cross of a crusader to mock all that is holy. That is me! I enjoy tormenting such an evil creature. I've shipped him to my estate, where I'll bind him and fatten him on flesh plasma. Then, engorged on his blood, I will hunt down the Zamitsi who dare to steal artifacts that were rightfully mine. I know little about them, except that they have excavated a tremendous amount of earth from the site and shipped it to London. And from there, I think, to New York, the diabolical home of the Sabbat. Hmm. They must be setting up a large operation to need so much earth from their homeland. Yeah, they probably are. Yeah, I could drop that journal page and... Yeah. Alright. Well, that saves us a spot, but... I guess we'll pick up this watch. Alright. Another fake door. Another real soldier. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think there's a boss fight in the next room over. Well, so we'll find out. I think I want some potence. I think I want some fortitude. Might want some celerity. And away we go. Who's that? Hello. Filthy little kindred. I am Father Leo Alatius. I know, and I've read I your have book. Bloodsuckers <laughs> like you for two hundred years. I'm mega years. mind. I have no wish to fight me. <laughs> two hundred years, that's then cute. Give up your blood without a fight. It will make a tasty addition to my collection. Early generation kindred. Vintage twelfth century. 1140. A good decade for Vitae. I wish only to leave this place, but I will kill thee if I must. Your time is dead, boy. <laughs> you can never fit into this world. You have no one. You are. Don't be like nothing. Captain America. Let us deliver you from this alien land of eternal loneliness and pain. I did not endure nah. for 800 years to die at thy behest. Oh. Oh. Well, I guess he's out of blood. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we'll just whoop on you old school style. Oh. Oh. More of attrition at this point. Oh, he's in frenzy. Oh, you bastard! Yeah, he has no blood to drain. Okay. Well, I'm not that worried about him. So I guess he is a ghoul. Yeah, he's a ghoul. Because he was talking about if feasting on my blood and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. This really is kind of a war of attrition here. One of us is going to drop and it's not us. I was going to say, I don't think he stands much of a chance. Oh. oh, he's running away. Where are you going, Leopold? Ah. Whooped ya. Oh, he failed celerity. Huh. Oh, he left us a page. Uh, oh, well, he's got another journal entry. From the journal of Father Leo Alatius, 
society of Leopold. These damned Zemitsi are proving very hard to find, since they hired the criminal Giovanni to make their shipments Giovanni. unfeasible. The it criminal Giovanni, the too. The my sleeping vampire courses through my veins. Rabisi. I'll find them and <laughs> crush the sleeping Vukodlak. Then, with the blood of Vukodlak in my veins, I'll be able to destroy all vampires. <laughs> of course, I don't mean all. I'll require a all of them. I would have loved to have seen this guy fought Vukalak. <laughs> like all of them, but not all of them. I'll have to crush all the other vampire slayers lest they destroy my flock. Then I'll have life eternal without succumbing to the curse of Cain. Well, that work out for you. <laughs> but I have all the time in the world. My first 300 years of life will soon seem like nothing more than a prelude to my holy domination of the earth. Take of course. Of course. Tomorrow of course. We'll the vampire without awakening him. Well. Ah, uh, Darren. There's no ducking uh, button, so I can't uh, nope, teabag. No, can't teabag him. Oh, well. Oh, find the source of the shipments. Oh, look at this machine. Plasma extractor? Oh, hmm. yeah, he's got some blood. It's like a blood vending machine. I bet there's some sweet loot in this room. Who's that? <sighs> ah, right to hell. Look, I just whooped your boss. Yeah, yeah fine, we'll do this a hard way. Come here, you. Where are you? Cash. Gold watch. Arrows. <laughs> Don't need them. Pistol. Yep, I think we're pretty much all set. Oh, oh except for that little guy right there. Uh, another compound bow. Uh... No hidden switches in here? I nope. don't see any. Alright. The scene... Come on, Kristoff. Just get out of here. The scene is dead. But not us. Yeah, that's it. Oh, brass. No, yeah, you know, that's what I'm after. I bet that door is unlocked now. At least it better fucking be. If not, I guess we just live here in the Society of Leopold now. Like, hold, who goes there? Ah! <laughs> Problem is, we run out of society, then we eventually starve to death. Oh, there we go. The door is open. The door is open. Now we can go terrorize, I mean, see London. Yeah, we get to see the, uh, the, the uh, Millennium Eye and the, uh... We can go get some fish and chips and have a beer, have a pint down at the pub. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Ah! To the abyss with thee! To the abyss with yeah, we can go watch EastEnders. Ah, come on! Ah! Oh, you ah! jerk. To the abyss with thee! There. Now you live in the wall. Fate worse than death. Is that it? No, no, no surprise guards around the door? No? Okay. West London. Oh, now blimey! Is all my reason thrown down. Surely my sleep hath made me mad. For if I'm yet sane, then the world has become a lunatic asylum. <laughs> Towers of glass <laughs> loom asylum? over the tallest cathedral spires. Juggernauts of steel hurtle through the streets of London. The cobbled Roman roads which once I walked as a young crusader are now fused into a single ribbon of black stone. <laughs> and those roads are clogged with night-walking Londoners, heedless of the danger from the vampires among them. Are they so emboldened by the phantom torches which pierce the night and stab my eyes? Oink. Surely my world has died, and all I love lies buried with it. Well, after that monologue... <laughs> 
Uh, end of the episode, folks. End of the episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Have a good day and bye-bye, Society Leopold. Yeah. Hello, London.